This video demonstrates the proper procedures for lamp replacement on the Sony SRX R320 projector. Before beginning any lamp installation, make sure you are wearing the proper safety equipment, including a protective jacket, wrist protectors, gloves, and face mask. For this installation, you will need a 3 mm hex wrench, a 17 mm wrench, and a clean, lint-free cloth. First, after the lamp has been turned off for at least 15 minutes with the cooling fans running, power off the projector. Unlock and open the rear door. Move the cold mirror by loosening the thumb screw, lifting and pivoting to the left. Remove the lamp house cover by loosening the five captive thumb screws and carefully sliding it out. For the Philips XDC 4200S and the XDC 4200SL lamps, loosen the bracket on the anode cable using a 3 mm hex wrench. Remove the anode cable using a 17 mm wrench. Retain the bolt and washer by placing them on top of the projector. You'll reuse them later. Loosen the cathode pin clamp at the rear of the lamp assembly with the 3 mm hex wrench. Loosen the yoke using the thumb screw and while holding the front of the lamp, swing it out of the way towards the front of the projector. Remove the lamp, being careful not to touch the reflector. Place the old lamp into its original protective carrier. Secure with Velcro straps and replace in its original packaging. While the lamp is out, clean the fine mesh filter with a stiff brush. Next, clean the reflector with a lint-free cloth. Carefully clean the UV filter on the lamp house cover and inspect for damage. Finally, clean the surface of the cold mirror. Now you're ready to install the replacement lamp. Carefully remove the new lamp from its protective carrier. Visually inspect for any damage. Slide the lamp into position, again being careful not to touch the reflector. Swing the yoke back into position and tighten the thumb screw. Insert the lamp cathode into the clamp assembly. Make certain the ferrule is connecting the clamp with no gaps. Tighten the cathode pin clamp. Inspect the replacement anode cable and reattach. For the XDC-3000S and the XDC-2000S lamps, make certain that the anode cable is pointing toward the front of the projector before fully tightening in place. Replace the lamp house cover, securing with the five thumb screws. Move the cold mirror back into position and secure with the thumb screw. Close and lock the rear door. Power on the projector. Enter the lamp code into the lamp installation software. The lamp code can be found on a printed sheet included in the lamp packaging. Installation is complete. Now, it's showtime.